A key union lawsuit heard in Dane County has raised questions about the judge's impartiality. Political reporter Will Keneally joins us with more now. Will? Well, Eric, at the center of the controversy is this signature right here. First supported by conservative talk radio host Dan O'Donnell, it appears to show Judge Jacob Frost's name on the recall petition against then-Governor Scott Walker. Now, Judge Frost is hearing a challenge to perhaps that biggest piece of Walker's legacy, Act 10. Now, the judge's office did not return our call to confirm whether this is the same Jacob Frost, though the addresses appear to line up. Now, if it's the same person, though, what does that mean for the case? What, what you're concerned about is the appearance of impropriety, right? UW Law Professor John Gross says judges have the option to take themselves off a case because of that appearance, but doesn't know that that's necessary here. You could argue that the recall itself was motivated by the passage of Act 10, right? And now Act 10 is before the judge again, right? But it, it, it's such a tenuous connection that I, I don't think it, it warrants a, a recusal from the judge. This is the latest challenge to the major collective bargaining legislation passed under former Governor Scott Walker. Gross says the legal arguments the unions bringing the suit are using make it easier for the judge to keep an appearance of impartiality. I think, I think the plaintiffs in the case um, are going to have a hard time because of the standard of review, um, because it the court only needs to hear a rational reason for doing this. That's a low legal bar, meaning it's easier for the judge to uphold Act 10, even if he disagrees with it. My job as the judge is to apply the law, and the law is, as long as the legislature had a rational basis for doing this, then I'm going to uphold the law. I might not like it, might not agree with the policy, wouldn't have voted for it, but judges are expected to be able to do that. Now, we could expect a decision from the Dane County Court in the near future. The case is almost certain, though, to be appealed to the state Supreme Court, which now has a liberal majority.